All right. Uh, well, it's the end of the day. Uh, I've been out here for a bit, and we ran the ET8, the ET1, and the ET7. Uh, the ET8 ran a whole lot better than it has. Um, with that fix I made on the carburetor, I think I'm going to try... Uh, actually, I'm going to take this apart one more time. Uh, I'm not satisfied the way this non-woven uh, material is working, so I'm going to maybe put one uh, fabric washer of something cotton and woven underneath there. Uh, I'm also going to uh, double check that I get everything cleaned out really good. Uh, and I'll show the modification I made on this in more detail and talk about what I think happened and how I think it's working a lot better. Uh, also, when I put this back together, I'm going to Loctite this so it doesn't turn here and it stays level. Uh, when I was done, it was about a turn and a quarter open on the main needle here. The main needle was about a quarter turn and a quarter open. Uh, and it did run really s pretty slowly. Um, like I said, I think a little better air seal on the end there is going to fix that up pretty good. Uh, otherwise, it did rev pretty well. Uh, it only revved on the first half of the throttle response, opening it all the way up. Uh, it just leaned out, I think, um, and couldn't keep running. Uh, and that's, I think, a design with the carburetor, because the way this carb works, uh, I'll explain it more in a different video, but uh, this is a pretty simple high load speed carburetor design, so it's not it's not the greatest sometimes, but it definitely does the job and does it for a low price. Uh, yeah, the ET1 ran pretty nicely, um, started up pretty easily, um, and adjusted in okay. Uh, the ET7 here. Uh, just wants to run real rich, so it didn't take long to run through its tank of fuel, but uh, let's see. The ET8 made it almost an hour, the ET1 made it 45 minutes or an hour, the ET8, or ET7, 7 here, uh, made it half an hour or so, and the EM1, uh, started by hand again, uh, which I was really thrilled with. Uh, so that was nicely adjusted and it went for half an hour, 45 minutes, uh, and then it ran out of fuel. So I put a little bit more fuel in it and ran a little longer. Uh, so both times it quit today are on uh, film, but it, it ran very nicely the whole time. So after all the issues I had when I initially got that EM1, it's always really nice to have it running really well so uh, yeah sometime this week I will get back into the ET8 carburetor and do a couple more things with it uh, but I think it's in pretty good shape now